Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? I hope you're good. In today's recipe, we'll be making catfish pepper soup with unripe plantain. Here I have the catfish. I just got back from the market. I will show you how I wash this catfish. And I have the peppers. I have the cayenne pepper, the shombo, and I have the other peppers. It's pepper soup after all, it has to be peppery. And I have a huru here, the calabash nutmeg, and I used a half teaspoon of uziza seeds. This is highly medicinal, and I have onions as well. Here is the unripe plantain and the scent leaves. All these add a unique flavor to this catfish pepper soup. So let's go and wash the fish. The fish is still slimy, like I got it from the market. I will rinse it off with water at first. I've removed the gill. We'll have to wash all parts of the fish to remove those slimy things. And I'm boiling hot water to wash this catfish very well. You know the catfish has been swimming in the pond for months and the body is full of slimy things. So it's the hot water that will help to remove all those slime. If you don't wash it with hot water, you cook it and eat the slime alongside it. Now I added a tablespoon of salt and I'll rub the salt all over the fish. And I'll bring in the hot water. This hot water is not boiling hot, but it's not warm either. So it's hot enough to remove the slime from the fish. You can see it's already sailing up in the water. And I'll just scrape it. I'll show you an example. Scraping it, you see it coming up on top of the water. Apart from removing the slime, this hot water also helps this fish to solidify. If you use very hot water, the fish will peel, which is what you don't want. Look at all those slime going out. If you cook it without washing it with hot water, you'll be eating all those slime. That's why I hardly eat this catfish outside because I don't know how it's prepared. I'll bring in the cold water. The fish is firm now. It will not scatter easily when you're cooking it. Now I can cut it to the sizes I want. It's easier to cut now. I'll rinse it properly and transfer it to my sieve. Here, let's prep the ingredients we'll be using. I will add in the onions and the peppers. I don't want to show my pepper powers here because I'm making this for my family and my children do not like lots of pepper, so I keep it to the minimal. I'll add all this into my blender and I'll blend it till it's very smooth and I'll add in water. This water might probably be the only water I'll be using for this recipe. We'll be blending this very smoothly. The ekuru and the oziza seeds are hard to blend, so be sure to blend it till it's very smooth. I'll transfer this to my pan as much as possible. Try to use a wide pan. This will help the fish not to break. Now I'll add in the salt and I'll add in seasoning. If you have fish seasoning, that will be the best. Now stir this to mix properly. You know we are cooking fish and we don't have to cook it for a long period of time. So we'll add the salt and the seasoning before we add in the fish. And I'll introduce the fish. I'll place in the back of the head first because the back doesn't break easily. And I'll put in the other cuts of fishes. to scoop the blended ingredients with the seasoning on top of the fishes make it mix well so that it will help marinate the fish if you have the time you can put this in your fridge for as long as you have the time before cooking it so that the fish will absorb all the ingredients I'll cover and cook this for 10 minutes 
on medium heat. As we are cooking the fish, let's cut the plantain, basically prepping the other ingredients so that it will be easier to just be mixing it when the time comes. You can cut the plantain to any shapes or sizes you want, but I like cutting mine into small chunks. I prefer using the unripe plantain for this recipe. The ripe one makes it too sweet and it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So the unripe plantain it is for me. We'll cut the scent leaves. This scent leaf is medicinal. It will add flavor to your pepper soup. You will like the taste. Now set the scent leaf aside also. By now the fish has been cooking for 10 minutes. If you remember, we used a white pan so this wouldn't break. This wouldn't be on top of each other and gently I will turn the fish to the other side to cook gently so that it doesn't break up when you use a white pot or pan to cook this catfish pepper soup none will be on top of each other and the likelihood of it breaking up will be less Bring in the plantain at this point and help it find a sitting. This pot was too tight that I couldn't even add the fish tail to it. I will prep that one for another time. And we'll be covering this and we'll cook this for extra 5 minutes. And this is 5 minutes later. Time to bring in the scent leaves. I always say that your seasoning and your salt should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking. If you're not sure, you add in little per time and adjust as you cook along. This is very helpful in cold weather. Please subscribe to my channel. Please also like and share this video. And now I checked for my seasoning, salt, pepper and everything came out perfect and I'll cover this pot and cook it for 30 seconds to a minute and this is a minute later let's serve the pepper soup now I hear that some people don't like the head of fish but that's my favorite part of the fish what do you think about this recipe here comes the fruit of our labor I hope you try this and let me know how it came out for you Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.